David Trent attempts to return to Bullard Hall with his mysterious prisoner, not suspecting that the so-called Lewis Malcolm is really a girl. To save time, they start across a lake in a boat owned by what appear to be simple fishermen, but... found the horse the youth rode, but there was no trace of him. I dare not return to Sir Edgar empty-handed. His orders were to continue the search clear to Bullard Hall if necessary. Master David has vanished also. He was carrying important letters to the hall, so no doubt continued his journey. Rest a while and we'll continue the search. The fight almost finished me. You saved my life, Lewis. And we are friends, David. We were never exactly enemies. No, I've not forgotten how you tricked me at the inn last night. I was in great danger. Someday I can tell you why. It's unfortunate our horse ran off. It's a long way by foot. Through outlaw country, too. I'm not afraid of outlaws. You're one of them? That is why you're fleeing Sir Edgar. No, I am not one of them. Nor is that why I'm fleeing. And what is your reason? I cannot tell you that. Then you'll go to Bullard Hall with me and explain there. If you say so, I must since I'm under your protection. We had some food. Aren't you hungry? Yes, but hadn't we better travel? If we wait for Sir Edgar's soldiers, we can have horses. You saved me from them last night. Why? I don't know, since I mean to take you to Bullard Hall anyway. Hadn't we better start? How old are you, 16? No, almost 18. You're frail, more like a girl than a boy. Yet you are strong enough to save my life. I will go. But I warn you, I'm your captor as well as your protector. be the very midst of the outlaw country. Then we will be safer hiding than traveling. Do uh, Sir Edgar's men travel this way? No, they use the Briarly Road direct to save time. Sir Edgar needs every man. Does he plan to attack Lord Markham? There's no secret about it. He and the Earl of Medford plan not only to attack Lord Markham, but to destroy him.
Perhaps they've seen us. You said you weren't afraid of the outlaws. I'm not. It was your safety I was thinking of. Must be gathering for a meeting. I'd like to know what they're up to. You mean you'd spy on them? Why not? It would mean your death if you were caught. I don't mean to let them catch me. fingers on the string and hold that left arm out straight. Try that. You bend the bow strongly, Roger, but your aim is something to fear. Try again. That's right. Oh, that was no shot. You could hardly miss such a target. <laughs> I fear I'm no archer. Oh, you learn. You're young, so there's plenty of time. But I'm better with this. A sling, eh? Let me see you try it. Aside, Robert. What that boy needs is a good whipping. Oh, the boy meant no harm. He's just learning. Men of the Greenwood, we've gathered because our scouts report a large number of soldiers of our bitter enemy, Sir Edgar Bullard, is on the march. If we're fortunate, Sir Edgar himself may be with them. <laughs> I trust Sir Edgar carries a fat pouch. If I'm to miss a meal on his account, I must be well paid. <laughs> You're always greedy, Red Roberts, but I'm sure Sir Edgar carries a fat enough purse to provide dinner for us all. Yeah. Sir Edgar has foully wronged all of us. He has burned our homes, killed our people. He has might on his side, but we have right on ours. I promised you all your vengeance, and you shall have it. And I shall have mine. Hey! There's the signal. Sir Edgar must be near. You all know your places. Let none of them escape. <laughs> Go when Sir Edgar and his men are in danger? Would you warn him after what you heard, or have you no ears? Man is an outlaw. Would you have me credit him? Maybe not, but I've heard before what Sir Edgar has done. Would you still defend him? I must. Sir Edgar raised me, protected me. I must be loyal to him. Would you leave me after your oath? No. Come. Never!
ought to whip you. You think I deserve it? Why don't you? I don't know. I'm not there. Perhaps you would not have had time to warn them. I was right to suspect you. You're no friend of our side. I never pretended to be. You needn't come any farther. Have you forgotten your oath to protect me? I had, but one more trick like that last, and I'll deal with you, oath or not.
They got us hemmed in. Will Sir Edgar Bullard survive the surprise attack on Briarley Inn? Will Sir Edgar escape destruction at the hands of Alan Hawk and his forest outlaws? Don't fail to see Blazing Barrier, the third thrill-packed chapter of Son of the Guardsman.